Hey, power users, especially you, Maroka68, because I'm answering your question on the forum now. So this question is about the creating of unique ID for the tables, because you cannot do and create a unique ID for the table based on table if you are creating collection and counting the rows of the collection based on your table. Because if you clear collect and, and select new table, for your for your clear collect, it will only count to 500 or 2000 max if you change your settings in the setting bar. So if you are counting, if you are creating ID with count rows equal to collection collection records plus one, you will end up on 501 or 2001 maximum. What you have to do. I'm assuming you have the dataverse and creating this table in your database. Uh, in the database, we have in columns, we have the column type, which is of the number Q. And for example, I created the database ID, which is auto number. See, it's here. I've used the string, which you cannot, you can also use the date. I've used the string starting from the seed value 1000. So that means that my first database ID will be 1000 and with the minimum number of digits, I'm ensuring that I can ensure that this uh, table will have same number of digits, for example, nine. This will, uh, means that this ID will always have same number of characters if it's important for, or for you for some reason. Uh, so when I create, let's create new board game. New board game. Let's call it, let's look at my games, Quadropolis. Let's call it Quadropolis and create the board games. Here in this label, I have the database, uh, last database ID which was created. But let's look at our, our data table. Let's go to the Quadropolis. As you see, you can so see it here. Let's go see all the columns. And my database ID is 1005. This is great. This should answer 90% of your needs, but sometimes you need your unique ID based on the data auto number, but with concatenation, for example, your date and your number or any kind of concatenation you want to use for, for your ID. Then you will need to ensure that when you create new record, this is the patch I'm using for the, the board games. But let's see how I'm do, doing with the ID. The ID is my specified string with uh, based on the database ID and my rules which I have applied. So first of all, I want to show you how not to do it. This is the lookup field. Look up board games. I'm trying to find the last created on record and find the minimum value. You cannot use min, you cannot use max. They are all not delegable inside of lookup. So when you retrieve database ID, you can have wrong data selected. But you can use the sort by column solution. I'm also sorting by created on column, the standing to find me the earliest date here from this first sort by columns this is a record sort by columns will give me the table oh so here see it's the data ta uh, type table the first ensure that this is a record this will find the first record and after the dot i'm using the database id i'm adding one why I'm adding one? Because my new database ID is still not created. It will be created with the record. So I have to auto number it myself. And I've added Monday just to show you how this works. How this works. It's, as you can see, it was created S same as the database ID plus Monday. There is a limitation to this solution because if you have many users which works in your app concurrently, they may be really rare occur occurrence that after they click both but the same button, 
they will create the ID which will be the same. So either you have to create ID which is unique, not only based on the unique number, but also based on some condition of the current user. If the concurrency is a problem, then you can fight with it still. You can firstly create your record without the ID. So make it optional, make it a kit not required. And then patch your ID based on your database ID, which you already have because it's auto numbered. Then you will ensure uniqueness. But if it, the concurrency is not a problem, you can go with the first patch. Either way, you will have to create two patches, one for the creation of the record and then patch with the creation of unique ID. So you've been warned, remember this, this may happen, especially if your app is really big and you have a big user database. If you really, really, really need specific IDs, then please don't uh, create two patches instead of one. So this is all. I hope this was helpful for you. If yes, you know the drill. Uh, you can subscribe, like, you can see my other content I'm creating. Recently, a really a, a large number of power-up clips with help with solution to your problems. And have a great day, night, life. See you.